I keep moving. So I just realized my mic was off. So basically, from the start of that uh, that little cutscene where Axel died, you're gonna want to turn right, come up, push this button. A lot of sounds and shit, as you can tell, it's gonna happen. But don't worry about it. It's just it's just basically to scare you. See? So, uh, yeah, I was like literally in my little intro right there and I was sitting next to the, the box and I look at my recording software and I'm like, wait a minute, my audio is not being captured. I'm like, oh, because I turned it off from the last mission so you guys can watch that cutscene so you didn't hear any extra background. But, um, so yeah, this is going to be mission three. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. I don't want to keep doing the same intros, just like, oh, hey, how's it going, guys? I'm back, blah, 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 mission, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so as you can tell, you got a nice little mute in intro because my mic was off, so, you know, that's how I roll. And these loading scenes are very long. Like, if I wasn't talking this entire time to you guys, I would have just cut this out, but since I'm talking and I'm not very entertaining, I probably should still cut this out. But I'm not going to because it's already done. So, as soon as we are you gain control of Ripley, I don't know what we're going to do because I don't remember this chapter. What a walkthrough. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Find an elevator. Actually, I don't even know if that was the end. I think that, this might be the start. This is the start of mission three. Whoops, so that last part was actually not the end of mission two. Like once you get on that train and come over here, that's the end of mission two. I just kind of cut it short. So my bad, my bad to people who are probably just like, dude, it's not the end of the mission. I cut it a bit short, my bad. All right, I told you this game isn't very good at telling me when the mission ends and when it begins. So we're gonna run up here. Did I save? Did I save? I don't actually even remember if I saved. I think I did. If it's red, I saved. If it's green, I did not. Okay, I did save. Oh my god, I have short-term memory loss. I'm sorry, guys. I just remember this part because I just did this. Because I was trying to find a nice little intro video of Alien killing me. And I thought this was it, but it's not. So, we come in here. We take a left. And there will be someone over here. Don't walk up to them because they will shoot at you. So, just get to the top of the stairs and then kind of back your way down. And then she's gonna run off. Guys, over here. Someone's here. So what we're gonna do is run to where she was at the door. We're gonna pick up. It's like a, ha a hacking tuner. So we're gonna grab it. An access tuner. She was trying to hack the elevators. And then this is how I got past them on Nightmare. Um, there's a lot of ways to get past them. It's up to you guys if you want to go right. Um, I go left right here. That's what I did, did on Nightmare too. So I run around here. Now wait, because those guys are going to be walking towards you. There's literally like three guys. See those guys right there. One, two, three. So they're all walking towards me. So I just camp right here because they're going to walk down this staircase right there. Like all of them. They're not going to come up here. So I just kind of chill right here for a minute. You can go the opposite way, I guess, but there is a guy in the back. So you got to be careful. See something? There they go. Okay. So I'm gonna crouch. They don't really hear me too much. Then I'm gonna kind of walk, kind of crouch and walk at the same time. There's a guy back here as well, in that doorway. Just to let you know, he's he's not there now, but he was. Oh, there he is. He sees me. 
Ow, and he shot me. What a dickhead, dude. Dude, that guy's a good shot. Basically, if he's there, you can kind of hide behind that uh, that rail a little bit. They're not going to follow you. Once you go through that door, they don't follow you. So, yeah. Because the alien's down here. So, yeah. Usually that guy, he's like kind of just chilling there in the doorway. This time he wasn't. He was actually like not there in the doorway. Pick up the revolver. Be sure to grab that. Because, you know, I want to fuck up those guys later. Um, if he's hiding, or if he's not hiding, if he's just kind of chilling there in the doorway, you could actually just walk up to it and, um, and basically, you're gonna, like, kind of hug that guardrail to the right, and just slowly walk towards him, he'll eventually walk back into that room. Uh, that time he wasn't, he didn't do that, though. This time he kind of just fucked me over, which was pretty cool for a walkthrough. Let me save real quick, because I kind of forgot what's gonna happen right here. Uh, actually, I do remember. Okay, so we got the we got that key card for this, and we're basically gonna get the parts for the access tuner. That way, it will it will work. When you're on nightmare, just be careful where you run because the alien is very sensitive to running for some reason. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about it here. If you can go that way. There's a dead body, so you can see it right there. Doesn't really matter. You don't you don't have to go through there. Um, I'm just going to scavenge some stuff here because I really need some building, which I obviously need a med kit. So I'm missing one item for a med kit. I need a, that. I'm already going to put two of those items there just so I can start making the med kit. If I get shot again, I'm fucked. Oh god. The flight recorder. But it's not going to work. What? Of course, right? Nothing in these games work for us. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna go right to go to the green one. Press the button. Then push the next one. Gonna be a lot of loud sounds again. Don't worry about it too much. Just do this. Now we can start hacking stuff. So I'm gonna come up here because then I can hack this door too. I actually believe the alien can come out right here. I think the alien was on. I don't know if it was this part or the next part because you do come back to this part. Um, in the future, I just don't remember if it was right here or then, but the alien does come out. Oh, and look at that, I just got an S whatever injector, so now I can make my med kit. So there you go, made a med kit. I am going to heal up real quick. Dude, when I first played this game, I didn't know that we could heal up, um, so I'm literally playing the entire game with no health. And when they shot me, like, I die instantly. I'm like, dude, how come I could shoot them like five or six times and they shoot me once and I'm dead? Like, I was, I remember I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, grab a flashbang. I guess there was a purpose to coming into there. Uh, but yeah, I was not a happy camper. Kind of sucked actually. So there's a smoke bomb. That's why it always helps to look around. So I just flew past that the first time. I'm just trying to make this walkthrough decently quick, so if I miss some shit, my bad. So I feel like we're supposed to do something. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. So, no, like I said, we come back later. And we gotta do more shit. Um, we actually have to access that computer. And then we have to open the doors and shit. So I'm used to that right now. Uh, right now, all we have to do is go back up to where the people shot me. Because they're assholes. 
So yeah, we're gonna go to the security room now since we can't go back up that way. And this is where we kind of first get introduced to the alien. I'm gonna hack this door one more time. Do I really want some buffalo wild wings right now? So you can access that um, system right there if you want. I don't care for it. Oh, revolver ammo, dude, it's so beautiful. You don't get this much revolver ammo when you're on Nightmare. Like, you rarely get ammo. So I will get a flamethrower later on in the game, and that's just so you can keep the alien away from you. I did not touch my flamethrower at all until like chapter like 13, 14, to where there's a shitload of aliens. So just a heads up. Come up here to this keyboard, press it, and we're gonna get a nice little cutscene with the alien. I'm gonna turn my mic off for right now. So you guys can enjoy it. So that cutscene's over. We're actually gonna follow that alien. So follow where he went. I think that means the alien is around now. I don't actually know. He actually fucks up the people that were shot at me. Or it, because I don't know if it's an actual guy or not. It fucks up the people that are shooting at me. Oh my god, my mic is like way turned. What the fuck? Alright, there we go. Now it's facing me. My mic was like behind me for some reason. That one's weird. So now that we did that, now we can go back up to the elevator. We're basically gonna go up to the elevator, hack it before the alien can fuck us up. So this might take some trial and error. The problem with this game is that it is very random. The alien just, you know, walks around. Um, it's very random. So, I put the map right there. Um, so it might take some trial and error. And you guys then, especially if you're new, um, I'm sorry, like, it's not like my outlast walkthrough where I figured out patterns. This game is not really that many patterns. It's, this alien kind of adapts to how you play. Um, so there's not much that I could do for that. I could just give you the basic guidelines right now of, like, hiding places and where you could go to hide, save, all that shit. Um, but yeah, I wish there was a save point right here, actually. There is down there. I'm actually gonna gonna save right now before I go down there because if the alien does get me I'm gonna have to restart I'm gonna have to do the security axis and all that all like the little intro for the alien all over again so I'm actually gonna save right now because this part is it could go badly for you so I, re I recommend saving right now as you see me doing okay now we're gonna go upstairs because the revolver I do not recommend trying to shoot the alien with it it's actually a bad idea don't do it. It sounds like the alien's down here for some reason. But, uh, yeah, don't do it. Uh, I've done it before, and it does not work. You have to get the flamethrower. The flamethrower is pretty much the only thing that can keep it away. That or, like, a Molotov or something. Other, other than that, I haven't really used a shotgun or a nail gun, because I... Yeah, just a, a flamethrower. We'll get that later. So we're going to come through here, and he'll be fucking up everyone. So we have to go to that door. That's the problem with this. See, now he's just gonna kinda wander around. He goes to that staircase, I believe. Oh, okay, he goes to the vent. Even better. So let's go through that vent. I'm going to quickly follow suit. Grab all this shit I can because I like to loot because I'm a whore. Give me it. Okay, so we're gonna come up to here and we're gonna hack this really quick. It's gonna be the end of chapter three actually, so as soon as we do this, we're good. Okay, it's hacked. And we're gonna come in here, push the button. And boom, just like that. 
that is the end of mission three. So well, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys for uh, mission four.